So I'm here with Suhas, and we're just discussing uh, his thoughts of the evening uh, uh, coming into today. And uh, we've just gone over that uh, he feels, uh, and he's spoken with members of his family, and, and feels that um, he doesn't want to go with the stress and all the possible unknowns of um, fighting Indian bureaucracy to to um, come to a resolution when he already has a a solution on the table, um, which will yes, which will free free you from the burden that you're currently yes, under. So this obviously for myself and George is very disappointing, and I'm sure other people will find it disappointing. Um, uh, but uh, having worked in India, I can understand um, that uh, y you, you could spend the rest of your life fighting this, couldn't you, Suhas? And I think that's not a good idea. That's what I feel. Yeah. So, um, obviously, we, the MFMP, uh, and George, and members of the community have suggested probably let, let this one you know, sort itself out with, with this other deal. And, and we will work with Suhas uh, to spend resources and time on actually developing a, a replication of the, of the device. I'm totally open to it and I can always do it. So I, I asked Suhas directly and I'll ask him again now, will you help us uh, do a replication of the Echo React? Yes, I will. I will, absolutely. And, uh, in your commitments in this other contract, do you, do you know how long that will take? It could take uh, maybe at the end of the month or it could take one month more also. Okay. So essentially you're not actually manufacturing the items, you're in a consultancy role. It cannot be said as a consultancy role. Whatever is, I will ask them to get done from a local distributor because these are huge uh, fabrication so we'll be getting them somewhere near that place mm -hmm. so whatever it is i'm responsible for that it's not mere consultancy i can't walk out saying oh i told you to get it done no okay and besides that the two resonate is my product so i'll have to get it done myself it doesn't it's not fabricated somewhere else i, I have so, i have to respect you suhas because from what we've seen from where you're working and the conditions you're working in, um, I, I, it's a, it, it amazes me that you can get anything done <laughs> and survive. So um, I, I would like to invite you to um, Eastern Europe, um, Central. Cent Central Europe. Sorry, sorry. We, yeah, we, we're very. It, it, oh God! If any Czech people hear me say that, they'll be going. What are you talking about, Eastern Europe? There's parts of Austria that are far further east than than, than the Czech Republic. They get quite precious about that. So, so Hungary is the, also the Central Europe. Okay, fine. So I'd, I'd like to invite you to come. Do, do you see any problems with getting visas or or whatever? Okay. So I think um, we, we can we can. Uh, we can rent a uh, space far bigger than what you've got there for far less than what it even costs in here in Mumbai. I was frightened when I saw a two bedroom apartments yesterday costing $1.73 million. It's just insane. Um, and when, when we need to get X, Y, and Z, we can just get it. And, and the transducers you're using, they're, they're standard components, they're right? Standard. Absolutely standard. And you know, I, I can do the 3D drawings and then I can pass it to a, uh, someone else that can do a drawing and we can get the parts made by CNC. So, okay, I think that's actually not a bad uh, way forward. I think uh, it avoids um, a lot of stress uh, and unnecessary fighting. I think that for me, it, it, it allows you to keep your dignity and and with with, with the fact that you solved your own problem. <laughs> no, it's not really dignity. It's a stress that you know at the end of that stress, still where you stand is not clear. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the dignity or anything. Yeah. I think. So I think I said this before. My father always used to tell me, "A bird in the hand <laughs> is worth two in the bush," 
And right, this, right, right now you have a bird in your hand. This is exactly what my family said. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. Okay, so thank you. Can I, can I shake on that? Because I know you're a man who likes to shake on your deals. And, and, and let's, let's see you come. Let's, let's try and make this possible. Okay. All right. And, and I respect your personal decision on this. It's a post decision on me, but yes, it is. <laughs> but for the time being, for the time being uh, we should like to discuss with you the, the technical details. Yes. I the should open. be the principal investigator or whatever to, to talk because I underwent the same difficulty actually. And uh, my fate was uh, basically much worse than, than you. I wanted to fight, I wanted to. Everything was stolen from me, so this is a kind of sweet revenge for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to see you guys working together, really, honestly. So, because we understand each other from half sentences, actually, so and it's really good. This is the only reason I came to Mumbai uh, in July into the rain. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, <coughs> no, no person would. But I, I, I <coughs> all means I wanted to you, wanted to meet you personally and discuss this subject with you mm -hmm. because there is no other person on earth with whom I could ever discuss uh, these problems. Yeah, I was considering this thing. I think there must be better antagonistic people around. Yes, I was in this direction. And my direction has always been that way. If something has to be attained, so what way it could be? Whether, whatever little I know of atomics, whether it can drive into that. A good old uh, gentleman in Bombay uh, who claims to have worked more than me in atomics said, Do you think you can achieve anything and everything? I said, No, everything has a limitation. That we have done more work and your ultrasonic devices are not able to do that because we are hydrosonic devices, you know. The, so they can do it much better, much faster, much, you know, more uh, depth. I said that we won this thing. We were arguing on a, uh, what do you say, sludge, mm -hmm. sludge breaking. Mm -hmm. I say it's a challenge, probably I will have something better than that. Ultrasonic alone will not do, but something else will do, help. Mm -hmm. And I proved today that ultrasonic and plasma together is able to break the sludge better than the hydrosonic mm -hmm. can. You mean the sludge on, on metal when you're cleaning the metals? No, 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 sludge in the... Oh, the, so, the uh, when you're cleaning off buildings or on the street? No. Sewage. Human waste. Sewage, yes. Sewage. Yeah, yeah. The main thing is how much solid you can break. Mm -hmm. That decides how much gas you can generate or how much is the final thing that is to be done in a landfill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so there is nothing, you know, it's a challenge. Mm. I, I don't say it's a challenge that I do, but there are ways. and. I have always felt that ultrasonic and plasma put together could do many things. Mm -hmm. But basically they are they are probably what forms the this thing. One is a comparatively lower frequency which can be much bigger this thing and then there is a comparatively much higher frequency which can do the smaller jobs together. Mm -hmm. So it's a, you know, like saying in an Indian way it's the job of a, a steel smith and a goldsmith put together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to an audio recording and mic you up, and then you can talk at your leisure, and I will do your uh, Ash um, publish your your Ash. Yeah, you... yeah, I, I want to do that, and, and 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 I've been waiting to do it for a couple of days, so I, th I think yeah, yeah. It, I can use that time productively, and then I'm gonna finish the accounts. So. Uh, I will see you in a little while.